Amados hermanos, paz de Cristo, praise the Lord, EPA, Apostolic Church. Es un grande gozo poder venir a sus casas este día con la palabra de Dios. I am so honored to be able to come into your homes uh, today with the word of God. I do have an anointed word from the Lord. Dios me ha dado una palabra poderosa para este día. Pero antes de esto, voy a dar unos anuncios. I'm going to make some announcements. Recordemos, amados hermanos, nuestro ayuno. We are fasting every week, every week. Uh, seamos fiel al día de ayuno, mis hermanos. Escoja, tenga su día. Make sure that you have your day throughout the week. And we're fasting as a church. También uh, esta noche, a medianoche, tonight at midnight, Uh, we begin our 24-hour prayer chain. Da comienzo nuestra cadena de 24 horas de ayuno. El horario que a usted se le ha designado, seamos fiel a ese horario. Whatever hour you have committed to pray, make sure that you are faithful to that hour. Queremos anunciar también, ya esta semana los grupos de amistad están en función. We have uh, our connect groups that are uh, in progress and we're so excited for what God is doing through our friendship groups. Estamos muy alegres por lo que Dios está obrando por medio de los grupos de amistad. Queremos que toda la iglesia, cada miembro de la iglesia de Hispalo Alto esté conectado a un grupo de amistad por medio de Zoom. We're using Zoom for our connect groups. También, mis hermanos, cada domingo, every Sunday at 6 p.m. a las 6 de la tarde, nuestros juniors tienen su estudio bíblico. Our juniors have their Bible study with Sister Abby Moreno at 6 o'clock through Zoom. Parents, make sure that you get your, church, uh, your kids connected to the Bible study. Amen. Este sábado, Mother's Day is coming up. El Día de las Madres ya se está aproximando y ya estamos celebrando a todas las madres. We're celebrating the mothers. This Saturday, este, do, este sábado a las 5 de la tarde, tenemos una actividad muy especial por medio de Zoom. Va a estar con nosotros nuestra hermana Katie Flores. Sister Katie is going to be with our sisters. This is a Spanish activity. So if you want to learn your Spanish, practice your Spanish, connect to this activity on Zoom. Uh, la hermana Katie va a estar ministrando en español. Estamos invitando a todas las madres para que se conecten. Amen. Next Friday, May the 8th, el viernes próximo entrante, el día 8 de mayo, tenemos a nuestra hermana Celeste Rangel, Sister Celeste Rangel. She is going to be ministering to the ladies. She's going to be talking about health and uh, uh, all these good, important things that women need to know and even men. But this is for the ladies and this is uh, to connect all the mothers. We want all the mothers, but we're also inviting all the young ladies. It's going to be in English, so make sure that you connect. Uh, it's going to be Friday, the 8th of May, and it's going to be at 7 o'clock p.m. So make sure that you connect. Praise God. Amen. Let's get right into the word of the Lord. God has given me a special word, and I am so Excited for the word of God. Dios me ha dado una palabra muy poderosa, muy poderosa. Y vamos, amados hermanos, a mirar uh, lo, lo que Dios tiene para nosotros. We're going to see what the Lord has for us today. Let's go to God in prayer. Vamos a orar, Padre. Mahashati Mako. Venimos delante de tu presencia. God, we stand before your presence, God. And God, we're here with an open heart. Nuestro corazón está abierto a tu palabra. Habla a nuestra vida, Señor, y solamente a tu nombre daremos toda honra y toda gloria en el nombre de Jesús. The Gospel of Luke, Lucas capítulo 8, verso 26 al verso 39. Uh, I'm going to be reading in Spanish. I want you to get your Bible. Follow with me in English. The Gospel of Luke, chapter 8. Uh, we're going to read from verse 26 all the way to verse number 39. And my subject today, el tema que voy a hablar en este día, muy sencillo, vete a tu casa. Simply just go home. Go home. Vete a tu casa. Verse number 26 
verso 26, y arribaron a la tierra de los gadarenos que está en la ribera opuesta a Galilea. Jesus and his disciples, they get to this area, which is opposite Galilee. Praise God. Verso 27. Al llegar él a tierra, vino a su encuentro un hombre de la ciudad. A, a gentleman, a man from the city came to Jesus endemoniado, the Bible says that he was demon possessed, desde hacía mucho tiempo, he was possessed with devils for many, many days, y no vestía ropa, he was naked, ni moraba en su casa, he did not dwell in his home, sino en los sepulcros, he lived out in uh, the cemetery, verse 28, este, al ver a Jesús, as he saw Jesus, lanzó un gran grito, he shouted, y postrándose a sus pies, exclamó a gran voz. He postrated himself before the Lord, and he raised his voice. ¿Qué tienes conmigo? What do you have with me, Jesus? Jesús, hijo del Dios Altísimo, son of the Most High God. Te ruego que no me atormentes. I pray thee that you do not torment me. Verse 28, verso 28. Porque mandaba al espíritu inmundo que saliese de el hombre. Jesus was rebuking the unclean spirit to come out of this man. Pues hacía mucho tiempo que se había apoderado de él. This unclean spirit had been upon him for many days. Y le ataban... Con cadenas y grillos, pero rompiendo las cadenas era impelido por el demonio a los desiertos. The Bible teaches that uh, uh, they, would, they would tie this man, but those unclean spirits were so strong that they would break the chains and they would take him to the desert. Verse number 30. Y le preguntó Jesús diciendo, ¿Cómo te llamas? Jesus asked, What is your name? Y él dijo, legión. He answered, legions, porque muchos demonios habían entrado en él. Many unclean spirits had entered into this man. Verso 31. Y le rogaban que no se los mandase ir al abismo. They were asking, Lord, do not send us to uh, the bottomless pit. Verse number 2, verso 32. Había allí un ato de muchos cerdos que pasían en el monte y le rogaron que los dejase entrar en ellos y les dio permiso. The Bible says that there was a, a lot of swine there in that area. So the unclean spirits asked the Lord permission, amen, to enter into the swine. Uh, this is important for us to understand. Esto es algo muy importante. Spirits are territorial. Los espíritus inmundos, amados hermanos, son, son territoriales. They want to stay in the territory. They want to stay in the region. Amen. Verso 33. Y los demonios salidos del hombre entraron en los cerdos. When the devils were cast out of the man, the Bible says that they entered into the swain. Y el ato se precip precipitó por un Despañadero al lago y se ahogó. Amen. The Bible says that the swine, they entered into, uh, the, they, they cast themselves uh, uh, up from a cliff and they uh, went into the water and they drowned. Verso 34, verse 34. Y los que apacentaban los cerdos cuando vieron lo que había acontecido. Those that were watching the swine when they saw what had happened, huyeron. Y yendo, dieron aviso en la ciudad y por los campos. They were marveled and they went to the city. And the Bible says that they told everyone. Verse number 35, verso 35. Y salieron a ver lo que había sucedido y vinieron a Jesús. They came to Jesus y hallaron al hombre de quien habían salido los demonios. They found the man whom the unclean spirits had come out of, sentado a los pies de Jesús. He was sitting at the feet of Jesus, vestido, 
Now he was stressed in su cabal juicio. He was in, 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 in his good state of mind. Y tuvieron miedo. They were afraid. Y los que lo habían visto, those that had saw him, les contaron cómo había sido salvado el endemoniado. They testified how the man had been delivered. Verse 37, verso 37. Entonces toda la multitud de la región alrededor de los gadarenos le rogó que se marchase de ellos. Listen, the Lord had just done a great marvel, a great work. But now the people are telling Jesus to leave. Pues tenían gran temor. They were afraid. Y Jesús entrando en la barca se volvió. He got on his boat and he left. Verse 38. Y el hombre de quien habían salido los demonios, the man from which the unclean spirits had come out of, le rogaba que le dejase estar con él. He was asking Jesus... If he can be with him. Pero Jesús le despidió. Jesus dismissed him saying. Diciendo. Vuélvete a tu casa. Go to your home. Y cuenta. Juan, y cuenta. Cuán gran cosa ha hecho Dios contigo. Tell everybody. The great works that God has done for you. Y él se fue. And he went. Publicando por toda la ciudad. The Bible says he went everywhere, preaching, telling everybody cuán grandes cosas había hecho Jesús con él. He went everywhere telling everybody the great thing that the Lord had done for him. Amen. Hemos leído este pasaje bíblico. We have read this beautiful passage in scripture. In fact, uh, a few years ago, my wife and I and about a hundred brothers from our church and our community, we went to Israel and we went exactly to this location. Cuando fuimos a Israel hace unos cuantos años, fuimos exactamente a este lugar. We were there. Amen. Pero dice la palabra de Dios, the word of the Lord teaches, al llegar Jesús a Gadara, as Jesus came to this region of Gadara, Viene a él un hombre endemoniado. Amen. Jesus gets to the city. He gets to this town. And the Bible says that this man who was possessed with legions came to, to, uh, to meet Jesus. Este hombre viene para tener un encuentro con Jesús. I want you to notice something. It doesn't matter how many devils you have. No importa, amado hermano, cuántos demonios lo tengan a uno uh, atormentado. Gloria a Dios. There isn't no devil in hell that can stop you, hear me, from coming to Jesus. No hay ningún demonio, amado hermano, amigo, que lo pueda detener a usted para venir a Jesús. Ahora dice la Escritura que dicho hombre... Él era atormentado por una legión de demonios. The Bible says that this man, he was tormented by a legion of devils. Una legión, amados hermanos, se compone de seis mil espíritus inmundo. I want you to think about it. Six thousand unclean spirits were possessing this man. Amen. That's just to show you how weak these demons are. 6,000, and they could not hold the man from coming to Jesus. 6,000 espíritus inmundos, amados hermanos, no pudieron detener a este hombre para venir a Jesús. Este hombre, dice la Biblia, que, que no vestía ropa. This man, the Bible says that he was always nude. He was, uh, uh, he never wore clothes. Amen. You got to be very careful with these things. Porque esto es exactamente lo que los espíritus inmundos hacen. This is exactly what unclean spirits do. They want to reveal your body. Quieren revelar su cuerpo. Y dice la Biblia que este hombre, the Bible says that this man did not live in his house. Él había abandonado su casa. No vivía en casa, vivía, dice la escritura, en los sepulcros. I want you to notice. These unclean spirits had possessed this man 
They had driven him away from home. He had abandoned his wife, his children. And the Bible says that he lived out in, uh, uh, in the graveyards among the dead, entre los muertos. Y dice la palabra de Dios, amados hermanos, que la situación, the situation, the condition of this man was just terrible. Vivía en una situación muy mal, muy mal, de mucho dolor. Pero dice la Biblia, the Bible says, que cuando Cristo llega, when Jesus came into Gadara, cuando viene Jesús a Gadara, a esta región, el hombre al momento, dice la Escritura, viene, se arrodilla delante de la presencia del Señor. He comes and he posturates before the presence of Jesus. Praise God. Amen. Seguramente, amados hermanos, verdad, este hombre deseaba, deseaba ser liberado. Surely this man, he wanted to be set free. Y es por eso que él viene y él, amados hermanos, se arrodilla a los pies de el maestro. He comes and he bows before Jesus. Praise God. Amen. Dice la palabra de Dios. The Bible says, That, that, that he was tormented with 6,000, a legion of unclean spirits. La Biblia dice, amados hermanos, que este hombre, escuche, estaba atormentado, ¿verdad?, por una legión de demonios. What does this mean? Estos espíritus inmundos, amados hermanos, habían tomado control de su mente. They had taken control of his mind and also of his will. También de su voluntad. Gloria a Dios por causa de estos espíritus inmundos. Because of these unclean spirits. Listen, este hombre tenía adicciones en su vida. This man, he had addictions in his life. Tenía malos hábitos. He, I mean, he was, he was full of bad habits. Y vamos a hablar de algunas adicciones. Let's talk about some of the, the addictions that the enemy wants to put upon us. Praise God. El alcoholismo. Alcoholism. That is an addiction. La drogadicción. Drug addiction. El cigarro. Nicotine. Amen. Uh, 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 pornography. Pornografía. Adicciones que el enemigo pone. Todo, ¿verdad? Todo tipo de inmoralidad. Every type of, uh, of immorality. Amen. Uh, uh, you become a thief, you become a robber, you become a cheater. El enemigo, ¿verdad? Lo hace un mentiroso, un ladrón, uh, un, una persona maldiciente. Gloria a Dios. Amén. Vamos a mirar qué sucede. Let's look at what happens when the man comes to Jesus. Vamos a mirar uh, uh, qué sucede cuando este hombre viene a Cristo. Primeramente, the Bible says, los espíritus inmundos, Lanzaron una gran voz. The moment the man came and bowed to Jesus, the Bible says that those spirits, uh, they begin to scream, they begin to yell, they begin to raise their voice. El hombre, amados hermanos, se postra delante la presencia de Dios. The man, he postrates before the presence of the Lord. Amen. Lo tercero que miramos, the third thing that happens, listen. Los espíritus inmundos identifican a Cristo. They identify Jesus. ¿Qué es lo que dicen? Jesús, Jesus, son of the most high God, hijo del Dios altísimo. You better believe they know who Jesus is. Después miramos que estos espíritus, then we see that these unclean spirits, they said, don't take us out of the region. No nos eches afuera de este lugar. Permítenos entrar a estos cerdos. Let us go into the swine. Amen. Unclean spirits, listen, they're territorial. They want to stay in their region. Quieren quedarse, verdad, en esa región. But listen, we have the power. Dios nos ha dado poder, autoridad para echarlos fuera. God has give us, given us power for us to cast them away. Praise God. Amen. Mira como dice el verso 31. Verse 31 says, el verso 31, y le rogaban que no los mandasen 
ir al abismo. Verse 31 says that they asked, uh, uh, don't cast us into the pit. Vamos a mirar lo que, lo, 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 lo que es el abismo. We're going to see what the pit is. The bottomless pit. Apocalipsis capítulo 20, Revelation chapter 20, verso 1 al verso 3. We're going to read from verse 1 to verse number 3. Get your English Bible and follow with me, praise God, because this is, this is important. Eso es importante. This is Revelations. We're reading Revelations. Apocalipsis 20. Verso 1 al verso 3, chapter 20, verse 1, through verse number 3. Y vi un ángel, and I saw an angel, descender del, del cielo. He descended from heaven, que tenía la llave del abismo. Listen, he had the key to the bottomless pit. Y una grande cadena en su mano. He had a great chain in his hand. Verse number 2, verso 2. Y prendió al dragón. He took the dragon. Aquella serpiente antigua, okay, the Bible calls the dragon, talking about Lucifer, uh, 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 the, uh, the ancient serpent, que es el diablo, who is the devil, who is Satan, y Satanás, y le ató por mil años. He was bound, hear me, for a thousand years. Verse number three, verso tres. Y arrojólo al abismo. He cast them into the bottomless pit. Y le encerró. There he uh, bound him. Y selló sobre él. Porque no, porque no engañe más a las naciones. He was cast into the bottomless pit. Amen. So he would not deceive the nations no longer. Hasta que mil años sean cumplidos. Until a thousand years had been fulfilled. Y después de esto, es necesario que se ha desatado un poco de tiempo. After the 1,000 years, the Bible says that Satan, he will be released. He will be set free for a short time. So the bottomless pit, amen, that's where Satan and all his followers are going to be cast into. See, these unclean spirits, esos espíritus inmundos, ellos bien sabían. They know their future. Ellos conocen, amados hermanos, su futuro. Amen. Vamos a mirar, verdad, ahora este hombre cuando es liberado. Let's examine how, you know, this man is delivered, how he is set free. Jesús liberó al hombre endemoniado, escuche, con el poder de su palabra. Jesus delivered him, praise God, amen, with the power of his word. Amen. He did not anoint him with oil. He didn't wrestle him down, put him on a chokehold. No, 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 no. Amados hermanos, el Señor aquí no lungió con aceite, no, no, no luchó con él, simplemente lo liberó con el poder de su palabra, with the power of his word. Jesús permitió, escuche, que los espíritus inmundos entrasen en esa multitud de cerdos. Jesus allowed, Jesus allowed for the multitude of swine, even for the unclean spirits, to be cast into the multitude of swine. Amen. This is interesting. <laughs> You, you, you might think, because the unclean spirits ask, you know, don't cast us away. Don't, don't, don't cast us into the bottomless pit. Allow us to go into the swine. And you see how Jesus, he said, go. And you might say, well, well, well I mean, why did he not cast them away? I'll tell you why. In that area, in esa región, in esa región, amados hermanos, allí cerca de Galilea, había un templo pagano. There was a pagan temple. Entonces allí, amados hermanos, ¿verdad? Porque usted tiene que entender, you need to understand, en Israel, en Israel, es abominación, it is an, ab an abomination, uh, tener cerdos, to have swine. So as an abomination, como una abominación a Dios, en este templo pagano, In this pagan temple, they would sacrifice. Ellos allí sacrificaban a estos cerdos. They would sacrifice, they, they would sacrifice the swine. So when Jesus allowed the unclean spirits to go into the swine, cuando Cristo permitió que estos espíritus inmundos 
entrasen en los cerdos, ¿qué sucede? What happened? All the sacrifices were over. Todos los sacrificios en ese templo pagano, amados hermanos, ahora habían terminado. ¿Qué es lo que Cristo hizo? Destruyó. He destroyed those sacrifices. Destruyó, amados hermanos, esos sacrificios. Dice la Escritura que al instante los cerdos se lanzaron. Instantly, they cast themselves into the water and they drowned. Se ahogaron. Así dice la Escritura. La gente de la ciudad, amados hermanos, que miró todo esto, se, se quedó completamente atemorizada. They were afraid. They had never seen nothing like this before. Le pidieron a Jesús, ¿verdad?, que se fuese de esa región. They asked Jesus to leave the area. You know, sometimes we don't understand the power of God. A veces, amados hermanos, no entendemos el poder de Dios. Y, y, y porque no entendemos, tenemos temor. Because we don't understand, we are afraid. Let's look at, let's look at Luke. Vamos a mirar Lucas, capítulo 8. Chapter 8, verse 35, through verse number 36. Verso 35 al verso 36. Y salieron a ver lo que había sucedido. They came out to see what had happened. Y, y, y vinieron a Jesús. They came to Jesus. Y hallaron al hombre de quien habían salido los demonios. They found the man who had been delivered. Sentado a los pies de Jesús, he was sitting at the feet of Jesus, vestido, he was dressed, en su cabal juicio. He, now he had a sound mind. Y tuvieron miedo, they were afraid. Y los que lo habían visto, those that had seen him, les contaron cómo había sido salvado el endemoniado. They began to tell people what had happened, how the man had been delivered. Amén. Vamos a mirar qué es lo que sucedió. Let's look at what happened. Number one, número uno, ahora el hombre está sentado a los pies de Jesús. Now the man, he is sit, sitting at the feet of Jesus. What does this mean? ¿Qué significa esto? Ahora el hombre estaba sentado, ¿verdad? Una actitud de sujeción. Now we see him, he's subject to Jesus. Ahora tiene una actitud, escuche, de un discípulo. Now he has the attitude of a disciple. Lo segundo que miramos, the second thing that we see, el hombre ahora está vestido, ahora ya no está desnudo. Now the man, the Bible says that he was dressed. No more was he naked. Ahora el hombre estaba cubierto con la justicia de Cristo. Now the righteousness of Christ had been upon him to cover him. Ahora el hombre, número tres, está en su juicio cabal. Number three, now the man, he is in his right mind. Praise God. Vamos a mirar el verso 38 y el verso 39. Let's look at verse 38 and verse 39. Y el hombre de quien habían salido los demonios, now the man who had been delivered, le rogaba que le dejase estar con él. Listen, he asked the Lord, I want to be with you. Can I stay with you? Pero Jesús le despidió. Jesus dismissed him, telling him, le dijo, vete. A tu casa. The Lord had delivered the man. The man was set free. The man was asking Jesus, I want to stay with you. Can I be one of your disciples? But Jesus said, no. I want you to go back to your house. El mandato de Cristo, the commandment of Jesus. Este hombre, amados hermanos, por gratitud, ahora por amor, por agradecimiento en su corazón, ¿verdad? Él deseaba quedarse con Cristo. He desired out of gratitude to be with Jesus. Ahora, amados hermanos, él, sent, él sentía, ¿verdad? Unirse, 
ser parte de la compañía de los discípulos de Cristo. He wanted to be also among the twelve disciples of Jesus. No obstante, el Señor le dice, vete a tu casa. Jesus told him, go back to your home. And the question, why? ¿Por qué? El hombre, amados hermanos, él no estaba pidiendo algo malo. He was not asking for anything that was wrong. He wanted to be a follower of Jesus. Él quería ser, ¿verdad? Uno de los doce discípulos de Cristo. Pero yo quiero que me escuche. I want you to notice, Cristo estaba mirando la imagen más grande. Jesus was looking at the bigger picture. Primeramente, ¿verdad? Este hombre tenía asuntos que arreglar en su casa. You see, this man, he had, he had issues that needed to be resolved in his home. Praise God. Amen. Recuerde que dice la Escritura que no vivía en su casa. He did not live in his house. Amen. He had his marriage to fix. Cristo le dijo, ve, cuéntale a tu casa las maravillas que Dios ha hecho en tu vida. Go and tell everybody the wonders that God has done in your life. Praise God. Vete a tu casa. Vete a tu familia. Go to your family. Praise God. Mire lo que dice la palabra de Dios. Let's look at the word of God. Because listen, everybody wants to be a preacher. Todos quieren ser un predicador. Everybody wants to be a preacher. This man wanted to be like one of the twelve. But the Lord had commanded him, go back to your house, amen, and, 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 and get your house in order. Pon tu casa en orden. Y esto es lo que Dios nos está diciendo durante este tiempo. Amado hermano, ¿por qué cree usted? Why do you think el edificio, the building is closed? Y ahora estamos en casa. And now we are, in fact, we're forced to be at home. Shelter in place. Could it be that God wants us to fix our house? Será, amados hermanos, que la razón que estamos ahorita, ¿verdad? En nuestras casas, que no podemos salir. Será que Dios, amados hermanos, ¿verdad? Nos está diciendo, iglesia de Hispalo Alto, familias de Hispalo Alto, Varones de Hispalo Alto, Pastor de Hispalo Alto, Ministros de Hispalo Alto, EPA Apostolic Church. Is it possible that God is speaking to us and God is telling us, listen, you want to evangelize the whole world? You want to win souls everywhere? Can you start, can you start with your house? Puedes comenzar con tu casa. God wants us to begin with our homes. Dios quiere, amados hermanos, que comencemos con nuestra casa. Listen, this man had very good intentions. Él tenía muy buenas intenciones, pero Cristo estaba mirando el cuadro más grande. Jesus was looking at the bigger picture. Dijo el profeta, the prophet said, See, one of, the, one of the things about end time revival, uno de los aspectos, verdad, del avivamiento postrero, Dios va a regresar el corazón de los hijos a los padres y el corazón de los padres a los hijos. God is going to return the heart of the sons to the father and the heart of the father to the sons. Dios nos está llamando. God is speaking to EPA Apostolic Church. Go back to your house. Vete a tu casa. Levanta un altar familiar. Build up a family altar. Voy a pedir por favor que allí donde estamos, I'm going to ask you there where you are to lift up your hands. Levante sus manos. Y vamos a ir delante de la presencia de Dios. We're going to go before the presence of God. Listen, God wants to return our hearts back to our family. 
Dios quiere regresar nuestro corazón a nuestra casa, nuestra familia. Levante sus manos, Padre, en el nombre de Jesús. Father, in the name of Jesus. Señor, te damos a ti toda la honra. God, we give to you all the honor and the glory, God. Lord, there are so many things we want to do for your kingdom. Hay tantas cosas que queremos hacer, Señor, por tu reino. Pero sentimos, Señor, que nos estás regresando a nuestras casas. Porque tú quieres sanar nuestro matrimonio. Lord, you want to heal our marriage. Tú quieres sanar nuestros hijos, Señor. Tenemos hijos que todavía no te sirven. We have children that do not know you, God. And Lord, we know that you love them and we know that you want to save them, God. Give us, our, give us a heart for our, our family. Give us a heart for our children. Danos un corazón, Señor, por nuestros hijos. En el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. Amados hermanos, les amamos mucho. We love you very much. Praise God. Amen. And uh, uh, we will see you Sunday. Vamos a mirarlos el día domingo. Este domingo tenemos un poderoso video de un tremendo bautismo. Juan Carlos, el joven que Dios sanó de uh, COVID-19. Vamos a mirar su bautismo. Vamos a mirar un video poderoso, un tremendo testimonio que Dios ha hecho. We're going to see a very powerful uh, baptism and testimony on Sunday of Juan Carlos, how the Lord healed him of COVID-19. EPA Church, we love you. Amados hermanos, les amamos. Mucha bendición. God bless you. If this ministry has blessed you in any way, we invite you to give with us right there where you are. There are many ways to give, on your phone and online. Download the EPA Apostolic Church app on your mobile device. It can be downloaded for free on iOS and Android devices. On the app, select the Give tab and your amount that you desire to give. You can also text the word EPA Church to the number 77977. You will be sent a unique link where you can securely give online. To send your offering by mail, you can send it to P.O. Box 639, Palo Alto, California 94302. Please make your checks payable to Apostolic Assembly. Si este ministerio ha sido de bendición a su vida, le invitamos a dar con nosotros ahí mismo donde se encuentre. Hay muchas maneras de dar en su teléfono y en línea. Descargue la aplicación EPA Apostolic Church en su dispositivo móvil. Se puede descargar en iOS y Android. En la aplicación, seleccione la pestaña Dar y la cantidad que desea dar. También puede mandar un mensaje de texto con la palabra EPA Church al número 77977. Se le enviará un enlace único donde puede dar de forma segura en línea. Para enviar su ofrenda por correo, puede enviarla a P.O. Box 639, Palo Alto, California 94302. Por favor, haga su cheque a nombre de Apostolic Assembly.